Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Sidia. I hope that you guys are doing great. Today we are going to continue with Far Cry 6. So, something very weird happened while I was recording the previous episode. So, I did the whole recording and uh, while I was editing, I realized that for some reason, the NVIDIA Shadowplay, the software which I use for recording, it did not pick up my microphone. So, it was all mute. So, it was kind of weird. Uh, I think it is because of the new update which came in. It somehow r resetted all the NVIDIA Shadowplay se uh, settings. So, I am not going to put that episode up on the on YouTube. So, I am going to give you guys a quick look at what exactly happened in the previous episode. So, yeah, check it out. What's happening? Meeting on the mound. Some of our friends want to quit early. Okay, listen up. This isn't worth killing for. Sure as hell isn't worth dying for. We're young. We should be out there drinking and fucking and skipping school. Woo! Our parents and grandparents already stole our future. Why should we give a shit? That's what I used to think. And then one day, Admiral Benitez walked into my classroom with a gun. She called on your name, you came to the front. One by one. Alvarez. Bermudez. Carrillo. The Admiral read their crimes. Protesting, handing out pamphlets, liking a Clara Garcia post. Fernandez, Jimenez, Peña. I learned a lesson. On my last day at school, you can either be on the right side of history or the wrong side of Castillo's guns. Wise words, young Guerrilla. La Moral taking new members? Depends. What? Is there an age limit? I will plead for La Moral if you take me. Welcome to the war, viejo. Esto! <laughs> so how do we take out the Admiral? Push-ups are the first step to victory. The Grand Hotel, Danny. That's the key. I got a convoy I like to make friends with. No. We need Carlito. Push-ups never lie. So following this cutscene, I had three quests, one for Honron, another one for El Tigre, and finally the third one was for Yelena. The first one I took was Yelena. So basically I had to hop on this truck uh, and it was a stealth mission so I had to go to this hotel and uh, I had to enter, infiltrate, clear the area and Danny also did something very generous. He gifted this hotel <laughs> to Yelena and the La Moral gang. It was quite interesting uh, and it was very much straightforward. So after I cleared off this, another cutscene came in. So take a look. Come here. What do you want the people of Yara to know about the conflict? <laughs> conflict? It's business as usual. Look, in spite of all the rumors going around, there's no war. At least not here in Eastern Yara. Am I right, Admiral? This is not a war. Yeah. The criminals of La Libertad will be stopped. Yeah. There are few, we are many. You hear that? And... Libertards? This means chica. She means business. And what about the violent gang known as La Moral? Anyone who attacks Yara's military or our business interests is not a true Yaran. My strategy... And I helped her with the strategy. I've got decades of experience. I ran a security firm. The East is safe. Am I right? Right. No prea coppas, por nada. That's a cut. I gotta go. Señor Presidente. Admiral, so lovely to hear your voice. 
If I could ask, how is it that a group of school children in El Este are inflicting the highest number of active duty casualties of this war? Admiral? They, um, they have support from Libertad and the Legends. I've always taken a personal interest in your career. Handpicked you out of the academy. But make no mistake, there were more experienced, more qualified, and more intelligent officers in line before you. You stood out for one simple reason. Si, señor presidente. You were a woman in uniform. And now you could be the highest ranking woman ever to have her head on a pike. Gracias, señor presidente. Following the cutscene, I had to go for the second quest, which was for El Tigre. He asked me to come to a facility where we have to liberate Carlito. So surprisingly, Carlito is not a person, it is actually a tank. So along with El Tigre, I went there, repaired the tank and we, we recovered it back because originally it belonged to uh, La Moral. I think it belonged to La Moral. So it was uh, kind of fun uh, to climbing on a tank and like going like completely berserk both mother it was quite funny so after that another cutscene came in so yeah check this out guys You came! What the fuck is he doing here? I wanted him to see Carlito for himself. <laughs> Mi compay. How many years since you've been down the mountain? Too many. Carlito and I, we have a lot of good memories. Time to make some new ones. You should join us, hermano. War is over. When we are all free. <laughs> hey, come. Come on, it's gonna be good. No, I'm good. Come on. So after rejecting El Tigre's hug request, I moved on to the third quest. It was for Hondron. It was basically about retrieving a cargo. I had to go to three different camps where the La Moral team was located. I went there, spoken to the people. They were just waiting for the orders. Uh, we attacked the uh, Castillo's truck which was carrying some cargo. We went there and it all went well I would say. Thoda sa, uh, hiccups tha, but uh, it overall it went well. <laughs> Jackpot! So after that I got a call from Clara. She asked me to meet her at the Esperanza region which is the Castillo region. So I went there and check this out guys. What are you doing? It's my papa's. I borrowed it. Ya tu sabe. I'm done, Talia. No more secret meetings. No more protests. No more friends that just disappear. He's too strong. So you're gonna just march into the Capitolio and put daddy's gun to Castillo's head? No. I'm going to build an army. And then I'm going to put Castillo in the ground. Come with me. You don't think I can do it? I've seen this, Talia. I've dreamed it. My mama used to tell me, save the dreams for the rich, fair-skinned Yarens. Us? We don't get to dream. We survive. You're not going to free Yara by killing Castillo, rich girl. 
You have to convince Yara it wants to be free. For all of us. Clara. Clara. Wanna tell me why you dragged me back to my old orphanage? He's losing, Danny. Soon we march on the Capitolio. And now, Castillo wants to meet. You're kidding, right? I want to know what you think. You've been face to face. I think Castillo's always two steps ahead. And he's not going to stop unless we put a bullet in his skull. <laughs> and then what? We kill his kid too? You had your chance. Why didn't you do it? Juan had solid intel there was a Castillo up in that hotel. He just had the wrong one. You let his kid live. And then Castillo lets you walk away from a death sentence. But the thing is, Danny, you were right. If Yara is going to have a future, his people, our people, we need to coexist. And the point was never to kill Castillo. It was to free Yara. For all of us. You had already made up your mind, hadn't you? Yara needs a leader, Clara. Not a martyr. Viva Libertad, Danny. After the serious yet emotional conversation with Clara, I went out to Yelena again and she was ready for an assassination plan for Benitez. So I went on with El Tigre, uh, ambushed the Benitez main base and we finally took her down. It was a long ride, a lot of fighting, a lot of killing, Bohoth intense that episode. Uh, so after all of the fighting, uh, this is what happened. Adios, Benitez. Ojo por ojo. Viva la moral! Benitez! Couldn't have done this without you, Danny. That's not a smart move. You should cut her down. Why? It's what that bitch deserves. You killed a soldier. Good for you. Except the thing about soldiers is there's always more of them. See, Mama. Same mistakes, new faces. You're just bitter because your revolution came and went and all you got was a fucking mountain. <laughs> Enjoy your trophy. Bonitas is private stash. Huh? <laughs> Salud. Enough with the pics. Victory Danny. I thought I was baby Tigre. Nah. Danny Roja will be bigger than El Tigre. You know why? Because your war will fucking end. Viva la moral! Si! Viva la moral! There's something about third world prisons. They make me hard. As you can see, Mr. McKay, everything is under control. Good old shakedown. I love it. Did they do it? Who the fuck cares? The Admiral was a lamb. She did not have the stomach needed to deal with the terroristas. I would like you to consider expanding your operations. Are you a legend? Open the cell. With respect, the president has a Open it! Did you fight with Santos Espinosa? In the 67 Revolution? I drove a tank right through the doors of the Capitolio in the Battle of Esperanza. I was there when we took your grandfather. I watched him die. Why did you hate him? The only thing a Castillo has done for Yara is rape our land. And you will do the same thing now. You don't know that. I do! And if you loosen this chains, I will wrap my hands around your little throat and save Yara from another Castillo! 
or you can do your country a favor and kill yourself. <laughs> we should have someone look at that mule. It's not mine. <laughs> All right, so with that cut scene, we are all caught up with the story. This covered two episodes, which I could not upload because of the microphone issues. Again, I'm I'm sorry about that, guys. But it also gave me an opportunity to make a video like this. Uh, so, if you guys like this video, please leave a comment in the comment section. If you want more videos like this, I would be more than happy to make. If you have any questions regarding the the la uh, this episode, if you have any like. Uh, story related question i'll be more than happy to answer uh so following this uh, uh the next episode will be the uh classic walkthrough video uh and yeah that's all uh, for this one so guys if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe and share the channel with your friends and family and with that said thank you for watching guys i will see you guys on the next video take care guys bye bye